What's up, Ian here, and this is my first impression, unboxing, and graph measurements of the KZZS10 Pro X. Now, this is actually a successor model of the very first IEM that I got myself. I bought this with my own money, and this is what got me into this hobby, the ZS10 Pro. Now, um, before I begin my video, I'd like to thank the sponsor first of this video and uh, this product, Linso. Thank you so much for sending this to me. I appreciate it very much. Uh, but guys, rest assured that whatever I say in this video is my own opinion. This video is not scripted and Linso will be watching this video together with you guys, okay? Alright, so this video will be timestamped. So for those of you who wants to skip around to the different chapters, uh, please feel free to do so. Alright, so let's begin first with the unboxing. Actually for KZIEMs, unboxing experience is quite standard. Okay, so the ZS10 Pro X. Now this is retailing for 56 US dollars and uh, if you guys are interested do check out the link in the description below by the way don't forget there's also a giveaway for the triple win rhombus uh, that is sponsored by Linso as well so don't forget about that one okay so yeah let's take a look at the specs of this IEM so this is 1DD and 4BAs right and it's 56 US dollars so the Frequency response or frequency range is 20 to 40,000 Hertz. Impedance is 29 ohms and the sensitivity is 112. All right, so yeah, let's open up the box. Okay, so standard, I think all the KZIMs that I opened have the same stuff, paperwork, and I believe the cables are going to be the same. Yep, this is the typical KZ cable. Uh, this one is with the mic. So I think I'm not going to go through this. It's the same cable. And probably the ear tips will be the Starline ear tips. Yep, Starline ear tips as you can see. The stars. Uh, the lines on the sides of the ear tips okay so I'm not gonna go through that so actually let's just go straight into the IM themselves okay and this is the ZS 10 Pro X let's take a look at the uh, originals and obviously the color has changed Okay, so this, the size of the uh, shell is the same. It's a little bit thicker though, I think. Let's take, the, let's take a look at the nozzle. So the filter here is paper filter now. It's not the perforated filter that you have on the original. And the drivers I think is a bit different as well okay so it's still a clear shell and well this is black actually I prefer black and the shell looks uh, the faceplate looks almost the same it's just that the colors are different okay so in terms of the size and the shape it looks almost almost identical to the original it's just that it's a little bit thicker now as compared to the orig original and yeah you can see the balance armatures on this side and yeah right so let's take out my measuring rig and let's measure these um, ZS10 Pro X and see how they graph be right back okay so as you can see I brought out my measuring rig and uh, this is the ZS10 Pro X so let's put in the left side into the coupler okay and let's go to the computer first let's calibrate okay let's play a tone 
and it's a little bit too soft so let's adjust the volume okay so I may have changed one of the settings here speaker should be left and right there you go so let's go back to my SPL meter now that's too much okay that's the volume let's reduce that a little bit in fact a lot more okay so 31.2 32 almost okay so we are almost there so let's calibrate 120 db that looks good right so now we can start our measurement so let's try let's change this to kz zs10 pro x okay so let's check the levels first okay 88 db that's fine okay so let's start the measurement let's see how it looks hmm okay it's quite level the bass and the upper mids and the treble looks like a, a w so this looks like a w shaped tuning now let's go let's take out the um, right left side and let's put in the right side make sure the seal is proper okay and now let's check the levels 88 db that's fine all right let's begin okay so the right channel is about 1 db uh, in difference in terms of left and right and I think that's fine you know as long as the peak it matches um, well a, a deviation of 1 db that's fine and just to add to this video okay let's take out the right side and then to add to this video I'm going to measure the original ZS10 Pro and then you guys can see the difference between the in terms of tuning and the graph frequency in between these two okay that would be interesting to see right so let's uh, change out so let's put in the original ZS10 Pro into the coupler and let's see how they graph you notice I'm not taking out the old graph which I measured I want this graph to be of the same situation same environment then you'll truly see the difference in the frequency all right so let's go back to the computer and let's call this not the x just the pro and check the levels and it's 89 db that's fine and let's start the measurement Ooh. you see that this line here the one that is highlighted it's the original tuning look at how much it has changed in terms of the presence and the upper mids okay let's take the other side out uh, as in the left side and then put the right side in and see if the channel matches let's go back to the computer and let's first check the levels 89 db that's fine and let's begin
Okay, uh, let's hide the ZS10 Pro 10. So there is uh, sort of a channel imbalance here, and this set. Um, let's try that again. I think this bad imbalance is a little bit too much for me to accept. So let's delete the right side and let's measure this again. Okay, let's begin. Yeah, I guess there is a channel imbalance in terms of the base, right? There's about 2 dB of, of imbalance because the uh, 8K region seems to match and the 5K region, and well, 2K onwards seems to match for the left and the right channel. So I guess, yeah, one side has got less base. But looking at the two graphs, so the one in red, is the new ZS10 Pro X and the one in blue is the original ZS10 Pro so that's the difference in terms of base um, let me just remove the left and the right or the left so in terms of the base um, the ZS10 Pro X has got a little bit less base okay and let's see is this the one yeah and the zs10 pro the original one has got a bit more base and the mids the upper mids has got uh more presence in terms of the 2.5k region and the presence as well it's got more presence on the zs10 original uh, at the 5k region and in terms of brilliance uh, it's about the same. It's just that maybe I would what from what I see is that the ZS10 Pro original has got a bit more air in terms of the treble Okay, and uh, I think the ZS10 Pro X is not gonna be as harsh as the original Okay, so let's bring out my iPad and then let's have a listen to uh, these or uh, well these new ZS10 Pro X be right back okay so I'm back and as you can see I brought up my usual iPad um, and my usual dongle the Apple USB-C dongle the Ying Wu cable and of course my usual ear tips which is the CP145 and the usual song that I always listen to which is the Golden Hour by Jake so let's put the uh, ZS10 Pro X into my ears let's see how it fits it should fit the same oh yeah fits the same as the original ZS10 Pro same type of fit it's just that it's jutting out just a little bit but you know I, I, I in fact I, I can't feel it okay so ZS10 Pro is X since in my ear let's listen to golden hour and I'll let you guys know my first impression let's go Okay, good presence for the pianos. They sound quite warm. The birds chirping is very clear. Kids giggling is very clear in the background, but they seem quite forward. The lead singer sounds a bit is they sound bright, and the bite is is quite bitey for the lead singer. Right, the sound stage sounds quite intimate it's got good width to the sides not much height but that's got width to the sides in terms of the sound stage and it's not shouty or harsh in terms of the treble when the lead singer goes to the higher octaves so that's pretty good it's not sharp it doesn't sound sharp to me but it's got good bite and in terms of note weight right this uh, ZS10 Pro X has got a bit of a lighter note weight, not a very heavy note weight. The bass is not a heavy bass. I mean, though there's presence in the bass, but it's not the heaviest and the most textured uh, bass. It's actually quite natural sounding, but it's not to that level. The snapping is in. I can hear the snapping very clearly. So I think it's a 
in terms of imaging and sound separation these are very good and it's just that the lead singer sounds a little bit intimate it's not too in my face kind of uh, situation but it's quite close love a bit too close for comfort for me but it's, the good thing is that the treble right is it's not a very intimidating treble is not a very harsh treble not like the original whereby is harsh to me this one is not harsh but it's got that bite there in terms of the treble the bass is also a very polite bass it's got the impact sub bass is rumbly but the impact of the mid bass is a little bit shy but yeah overall in terms of the overall performance i would say this is a better improvement as compared to the original original to me was a little bit too harsh a little bit too in your face this one is tuned pretty well and the violins the lead violin and the background violin they, they sound correct and you've got a sonic transfer of sound from left to right which is correct which is pretty good okay so let's pause the song Okay, so that's my very first impression of the ZS10 Pro X. So uh, this is just my first time listening to it. Uh, uh, this is not my full review. So once I listen to it a bit more and uh, a while longer, I will then do my, my full review for this. But that's it for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and learned something from this video. And if you did, uh, please give this video a thumbs up. Right, so... Thank you so much guys for watching um i hope to see you guys in the the actual review the full review of this s10 pro uh, till then have a nice day and i'll see you soon cheers <laughs>